Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to make ribbons in HTML and CSS. The way we're going to do it will allow the window to be resized and the ribbon to grow and shrink according to the size of the window. Okay, let's get started. In our HTML, we're going to need to link to our style sheet ribbon.css. We we'll also have a div tag, the class ribbon z index. This tag causes the tails of the ribbon to sink behind the front of the ribbon that's displaying the text. Then we're going to have a paragraph with class ribbon, and inside this we're going to have a strong tag with a further class ribbon folds. In our CSS, we're going to define our classes here. Under ribbon, we're going to start, we'll have a font size of 50 pixels, and we're going to have the important attribute enabled. This will make it to where none of the other CSS classes on the web page are going to affect the size of the font. It will always be 50 pixels. Furthermore, if you change the size of this font, the rest of the ribbon will change size accordingly. We'll have our width set at 50%, position relative. We're going to have our background be a linear gradient that starts dark at the bottom and gets lighter towards the top. The color of our text is going to be white. The text align is going to be in the middle. And then padding and margin, just do that according to taste. Then we're going to do the pseudo classes before and after for the ribbon. This is going to affect the tails. We're going to have no content, position will be absolute, they'll have a block style display. Bottom will be one emphasis. The key is using the emphasis attributes instead of the pixel attributes. This will allow for the resizing option with the ribbon. Border will be one and a half emphasis, solid, and the color will be blue. The Z index will be negative one. Our left tail is going to be attributed to the before pseudo class. Left will be negative two emphasis, border left color will be transparent. The after pseudo class will work for the right tail and it's just a mirror image of the before pseudo class. Then we're going to work with the pseudo classes for the ribbon folds class before and after. We're going to have no content, absolute position, block display, a solid border style, a border color will be a darker blue. We'll also want certain parts of the border to be transparent. And the bottom will shift negative one emphasis. The before pseudo class for the ribbon folds class will work for the left fold. The left will start at zero, border width, one emphasis, zero, zero, one emphasis. The ribbon folds after pseudo class will be for the right fold. Right will start at zero, and the border width, one emphasis, one emphasis, zero, zero. Ribbon Z index. Position will be relative, and the ZX is going to be set to one. And that's all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.